It's kind of cold down here. Do they change the lights in Roger's place? Yeah, because <laughs> Carrie loves them now. Uh, Carrie lit us <laughs> up. We are back on a Monday with another edition of the Nation pregame pregame show. I'm Josh. This is Jay. Today we're pregaming at Northern Chicken and Jay. What a weekend in sports, especially for you, an Oilers and a Browns fan. How you feeling on a, on a Monday? Yeah, going into the weekend, it was what a weekend in sports. Uh, yeah, tough, tough weekend. Uh, that game on Saturday, uh, well, there's only one way to say it. Outclassed or outmatched. Uh, and then my Browns had every chance to win that game, and they didn't, but enough about that. Let's move on to this upcoming matchup for the Oilers. Our starting lineups tonight, we have a couple changes for the Oilers. Actually, a couple big ones for that. Of course, Miko Koskinen as well going to start again tonight. And on the back end, two players coming out. Caleb Jones, Ethan Bear, both supposedly coming out of the lineup for tonight, which means Willie Legison and Chris Russell drawing back in. Shot block is going to go through the roof uh, yes. today. I th you know what? We need we need a shake up. Uh, this this roller coaster ride that we're on of losing, winning, losing, and then hopefully winning tonight. Uh, you know we need to we need to we need to make things a little bit more consistent. So obviously Tip sees he needs to shake things up to kind of set the tone to get uh, the boys fired up because yeah, like I, I really want to see the Oilers have played Vancouver in Game Two play the Canadians tonight because that'll be an interesting game because. We got our show ran. I mean, ran. Earlier this morning, I put a little poll out on my Twitter, retweeted on the Nation Twitter. Which Oilers defenseman are you most impressed with so far this season? Right now, at the time of recording this, 68% of you saying Slater Cuckoo. Jay, do you agree? The Nation is going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. This Big guy time. is legit. This guy is coming in. He was he was a depth signing by by Uncle Ken, and he is showing up. Obviously, he's coming in with some confidence. He worked on himself in the last season, like, and it's paying dividends. Like, he's one of the few shining lights that we have. Like, yes, a four point performance from Connor and Dry is great, but like, can, from in terms of consistency, it's our boy Slater, and it is our boy Yamo. That guy, that guy. He's got the heart the size of a blue whale, which I can only assume is ginormous. That kid goes out there and competes on every shift. Like, I'm hoping that can motivate the team. Like, he's, the only, he's one of the few things that just gets me excited and motivated and, 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 and feel a little bit more comfortable about the Oilers right now. Like, we're not, we haven't found our consistency yet. When we do, we'll be fine. It's just annoying right now a bit. Yes, quickly we're going to touch on the Oilers goalie carousel. Waivers this year are so wild in the NHL. Aaron Dell, we put in a claim for him. Well, at least we can assume we put in a claim for him. The Oilers did. He got picked up this morning by New Jersey. New Jersey picked up Eric Comrie a few days ago, which means Eric Comrie potentially could be going back on waivers. If that's the case, Winnipeg could pick him up. And if that's the case, then Anton Forsberg could go back on waivers. We're not going to speculate about any of that because who absolutely knows what's going to happen in the next few days. Jay. Which player for you on the Oilers just needs to figure it out for tonight? Simply put, just figure it out. One player on the Oilers. Uh, someone who needs to figure it out tonight, honestly, is Miko Koskinen. Uh, and the reason being is, yeah, we're leaving him out to dry a lot. Uh, a lot of grade A scoring chances are, are coming down his way, but like, stop a couple of them, and you know maybe that can you know be a turning point, gain momentum back. Uh, for, for the, the guys in front of him. So just expecting, we need a strong performance from Miko tonight, and we'll begin. The back end for the Edmonton Oilers obviously needs to be a lot better, but great goalies in this league make the saves when they need to. You need that one big save. Jay, betting tonight, you had an okay weekend. Despite the outcome of the games, you still had an okay weekend betting. What are you looking at for tonight? Not to pump my tires. Yes, the start of the season, I said bet with my heart and be silly. That's that's the whole point of silly betting. betting. Just, just go for it and have fun, and if it hits, it hits. But after that, I've been serious. I've been doing my research. I've been trying to come up with bets that'll help our audience yep. make some money. We're trying to help you guys as well, so. Well, that's exactly. Yeah. Right? So, um, I, I, I advised last episode on the Barry Point you love for that. the prop. I, you got to double down on it again. Yep. Like the PP hasn't been that great. So you have to assume that if we can get one or two power play goals, Barry's in on at least one of them. Yep. And if you find it, depending on the sports book, I have it right now at plus 115. So the fact you can get it plus money, and this is the quarterback of your power play. Yeah. It just, it's, it, <laughs> it's a slam dunk. Nothing's a slam dunk. 
but it's a slam dunk. I was gonna say, you're getting great return on that as well. Plus 115, although it is a defenseman, he is your number one power play quarterback. So Jay's bet of the day, Barry over half a point. For me, I'm gonna go, I love this, over three and a half shots for Connor McDavid. I believe it's paying around plus 120 right now. You imagine, hopefully another Jordan game on the way for Connor McDavid playing a little bit guilty tonight. Score predictions, are you ready? Connor's mad, but yes, I'm ready. Got your paper? All right. You gotta make sure it's all squared up. Three, two, one. What do you got? Three, two. Three, I got two. Three, one. Three, one. And I've got big D performance. I think they shake things up. I think the boys are gonna be uh, putting in a big effort defensively, so three, two. Before we wrap it up, we wanna give you a huge congratulations to Cassandra and Zach Cassian, the birth of your second little child, Olivia. She came in at seven pounds, seven ounces. Huge congratulations to the Cassian family. Of course, Zach, we're stoked you're back in the lineup tonight. Here's hoping the Oilers can get back in the win column.